Greetings, everyone. Beefswell here, and Cat Meat is with me as usual. And I am here on my death wheel to continue my adventures in Azshara. <clears throat> so, we will get right to it. Yes, Cat Meat, this is a real vehicle for a, for a true warrior of the Horde, such as myself. Last time, we were uh, hired to do some. Uh, you know what? Oh, yeah. We were hired to do some surveying around the lake and uh, recover some artifacts. So that is just what we're going to do. All right, now I've got a goblin surveyor. make you survey this thing. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and get this first. Yes, all right. <coughs> Here, I'm leading you. Oh, wait. Okay. Here we go. Yes, give me your pioneer trousers. Excellent. On to the next. Restless spirits of the ancient night elves, I presume. much care for elves when they're alive, so I'm certainly not going to care for them dead either. Alright, here you go, little goblin. I'm with one of your surveying equipment. Do what you gotta do. Excellent. Moving right along. Alright, I've got a bunch of artifacts for the elf. And just the last piece of uh, surveying equipment, and we'll be finished with this lake job. That is indeed how it's done. <coughs> Take notes. of a fight, can they? And there we are. Back to the depot.
I seen you around here before. No bunch of dead elves can put a stop to progress. Not on my watch. Beautiful work. Now that we know the area better, we can tear this lake a new one. Those ancient ruins have survived 10,000 years of wind and weather. So I brought out my biggest and bestest bulldozer to flatten them. I call her Margine. But my dozer's been letting me down lately, Beef Swell. The moment I drove her into those haunted woods, her engine seized up with a spine-chilling howl. Now, my engineer tells me something's clogging her valves. Go over there and inspect Margine's engine compartment, and bring me back a sample of whatever's, whatever gunk has it stalled. Don't be a stranger. <clears throat> Our enemies will fall. Have you gotten your hands dirty for me? Melania furrows her brow and begins sifting through the artifacts you brought her. So the spirits of the dead still haunt those old stones, hmm? Well, Beefswell, as it happens, I'm counting on their help. Let's see what the dead have to say. The runes on this ring you found are still legible. It was given to Kalitha when she was granted admission to the Academy. With the right spell or two, this personal trinket of hers is the gateway to her soul. Take the ring back to Lake Manar. Kalthea's spirit should now be visible to you on the shore of the lake. Touch her, and the ring will allow you to see the world as she sees it, forever reliving her final hours. Probe her mind, Beef Swell. Speak to the others and learn the secrets of Lake Manar. Salama Ashalinore. This does not sound uh, good. <coughs> Plasmic exhaust. That is not something you see every day, Cat Meat. Not at all. What's up? Machine is one heck of a machine, isn't she? Busted ball bearings. Look at this stuff. Ugh, smell this stuff. My poor, poor dozer. Beef swell. I consider myself a goop expert, and this here goop ain't natural. It's supernatural. This is ghost goop. We're gonna need more than a mechanic. What we need is a priest. Fortunately, I have a small budget set aside for the blessing of machinery. Take this flare gun and head over to Majin, my poor, sweet, busted bulldozer. Fire off the signal, and one of our finest airborne priests should airdrop in to get a handle on the situation. Come back when my bulldozer is taken care of. See you around, friend. Airdrop Priest. Praise to the light indeed, brother. Well, there's your problem. You have what we call a ghost in the machine. <clears throat> this calls for an old-fashioned bulldozer exorcism. Give me a hand if she gets uppity, will you? Oh dear, she has gotten uppity. Terrific! That went down nice and clean. Let Klebnik know that the priesthood will be sending him a bill. For the light! Hey! How you doing? How's Majin doing? Running like a sweet self again? What? What? Majin! Oh, my sweet Majin! Oh, wah, wah, wah. Indeed. Klubnik wipes away a tear, and then juts his chin out with determination. Never again, Beefswell. No bulldozer deserves the fate of my machine. We're gonna need some industrial ghost proofing. This is a job for our top scientists, and I owe just the woman for the job. Look for Assistant Greeley at the Southern Rockaway Terminus. She's the administrator for Ashara's world-famous secret lab, and she owes me a favor. Keep it real. Oh, I keep it real, son. Don't you worry. All right, so I guess um, I guess the lake is on the way to the secret lab, so okay, we'll head to the lake, <clears throat> and then onward to the secret lab. Come, cat meat. We have work to do. Here we 
yeah. Elune Adore. May the stars guide you. Oh dear. I've merged with the Night Elf spirit. I don't like it. Ishnu Daldiel. Asha Fela. So, who am I supposed to talk to? What here? brings you here? Farewell. Greetings. Team Some Next Archmage is looking for me. So acolytes. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Archmage Selwyn. Hello. Calthea, it is done. The Sarsen Stone is fully charged and is already diverting energy from the portal. Are you still the incredible swimmer I know many <clears throat> I knew these many years ago? The stone must be found must not be found by either the demons or our beloved queen. Swim to the bottom of the lake, Calthea, and bury the stone deep under the center arch. Hopefully the demonic invaders will not discover it when they raise the surrounding temple. Go. Be careful. You reel as the spirit's vision fades, relieved once again to feel the earth beneath your feet and the comforting rhythm of your own quickened heart. Before she died, Kalitha was charged with burying something at the bottom of the lake, a powerful artifact that the Archmages of Minar spent their last moments creating. No doubt, Malnea Skyreaver will want to see the artifact. Presuming it still exists, he resolved to search the bottom of Lake Minar for the Sarsen Stone. Indeed. Oh, look at you doing your little kitty paddle, cat meat. That's so cute. Hmm. Those look like snails, but they're seemingly just part of the architecture. Let's see, can I get into the center of this thing? Hmm. Ah. There we go. The Sarsen Stone it is. Now, let's see. Do I head back here or onto the secret lab? Might as well head back and then take the, uh, the rocket. Good thing my motorcycle works underwater. Look at those treads spinning. Sun guides us. Did you discover anything at the lake? You're soaking wet. You're trying to talk dirty to me, elf. A sarsen stone. That's the stuff of legend. Let me see that. Be swell. Sarsen stones are used to redirect the ley lines of magical energy. You realize what this means? The mages of Manar weren't staying behind out of misguided loyalty. They sacrificed their lives in order to create this artifact in an attempt to draw energy away from the portal through which the demons were flooding Azeroth. They were buying time for the rest of the world to fight back. History never recorded their deeds. What a discovery. Shurel are on. <clears throat> sure, if you say so. I have a feeling the goblin's not going to take uh, too kindly to that. But he doesn't appear to be saying anything, so whatever. Give me a ride. I need his money, friend. 
Going to right the southern back. terminus. Let's go. Come and catch meat. This shall be fun. Cat meat appears to have disappeared. Can't keep up. I'll have to call them back later. This really does not seem very safe, I must say. I'm not really sure what's keeping this rocket on the track. What keeps it from exploding. Goblin things are known to explode frequently. Nick talking about haunted construction equipment. Does it look like I have time for ghost stories? <coughs> I've got a laboratory in the middle of a meltdown. Fires burning. Animals mutated. And worst of all, projects falling behind schedule. Help! Go get him, champ. Did you see the explosions on the way in? The secret lab is engulfed in flames. Again. If we don't stamp out those flames, we're gonna hit critical temp temporicity and resonate into a meltdown cascade. Here. I'm entrusting you with a canister of experimental hypercooled pressurized liquid gel. The most volatile fire retardant known to science. Keep that canister away from open flame. Put out the fires and hose down my interns. Then contact me via the squawk box in central control. Keep your ear to the ground. <coughs> uh, I'm stuck. That's better. I thought I saw it. Ah, there we go. I knew I saw another quest around here somewhere. You there, Bombardier Smooks. No loitering, <coughs> whatever that means. The Naga started making a move on the peninsula here after we finished building this rockaway terminal. But there's no problem in this world that can't be solved with gratuitous firepower. That's what my daddy used to say, anyhow, before the accident. I'm running short on supplies, though. Do me a favor and collect the mortar shells I left stockpiled in the secret lab just west of here. Keep me supplied, and I'll let you call in the artillery strikes. Yeesh! Talk my head off, why don't you? Hey, you're the one asking me to do a job, fool. Now, to the secret lab. It doesn't seem to be very secret, since everybody keeps telling me about it. Well, spit it out. Do you need to be hosed down, friend? I guess not. Rock giant, apparently. You apparently need to be hosed down. Now, is this a uh, water shell? I suppose this is a lab fire. Put that right out. Good. And you. I wonder if I can use this on enemies. Freeze them. much of a lab. <coughs> Mostly plants. AstroTurf. Come here, little friend. What's shaking? Stop moving. Uh, who's this fellow with a job for me? Yeah, what do you want? I was trying to domesticate the indigenous hippogriffs here using a series of debilitating electrical shocks, when for some reason they went berserk. Now my test subjects are sh tearing up this place for no good reason. 
Shaman, go slaughter my failed experiments before they find me. Keep your ear to the ground. You are. And you're on fire. <clears throat> What's this all about? Huh? Two for the price of one. Got a lab assistant and a fire in the same sh spray. Mm, Alright, so I guess I completed all of that. So I need to come talk to the squawk box. Greeley squeaky voice peels through a set of speakers. Rocket way to secret lab. Rocket way to secret lab. Come in, secret lab. Nice work, beef swell. Now we need to decouple the reaction core matrix from the fuel stumps, or that place is going to blow itself to Outland. Once we flush the central reactor, I need you to return the core to me. It's 100% refined Asherite crystal, which is both powerful and dangerous and lovely. Oh, precious Asherite, the shaper of worlds to come. The giant lever to your left will dump the core and send it to me via the rail system. The core will be superheated, so you'll need to periodically douse it with the fire eliminator on the way here. Don't let it reach critical temperatures. Hmm. Well, we best uh, go kill these hippogriffs first. What? What on earth are you? You appear to be <coughs> a raptor with a um, mind control helmet on. At least you were. Oh, there's somebody else with a job for me around here. Alright. Let's find them. They're up on that side of the ridge. I'll kill these hippogriffs on the way. If you goblins always weren't tampering with nature, I wouldn't have to help you out like this and kill these innocent animals, but such is life. Suppose it is all for the greater glory of the Horde. God knows the dwarves and goblins are up to all sorts. The dwarves and um, gnomes are up to all sorts of trickery. And the Horde needs to keep up. Torrin. Please do not alarm yourself. I am indeed speaking to you in your native tongue. My own considerable raptor intelligence has been augmented through a series of experiments. You may refer to me as Subject 9, an identity recently bestowed to me by my creators, or otherwise at the moment occupied or deceased. Perhaps you can render me some assistance. My benefactors use their diminutive intelligence to construct an interplanetary transport. <clears throat> as designed, this so-called rocket is a death trap. But I suspect a simple re-engineering of the fuel catalyst semifold would render a stable mixture, providing a breathable oxygen byproduct. To implement such changes, I require the original engineering plans. Locate laboratory archives and ring the doorbell to gain entry. The plans will be held by the lab director himself, presuming he still lives. Well, I am apparently now taking jobs from a talking raptor. Fascinating. Well, we best find this doorbell. What's the word on the street? So the world so the world is safe for science again. 
Excellent. Next time I'll try heated needles or something. Glad I could help. That's the doorbell, is it? A hand-lettered sign reads, Secret Lab Archives. X Nizzlebex, Lab Director. Please ring buzzer for service. Oh dear. Oh dear. What on earth are you? I've got the secret rocket plans and his secret ID card. And his mutant tentacles are attacking me. Get out of here, mutant tentacles. Damn. The things we do for the horde, cat meat. I suspect the archives are closed, Peacewell. Locate those plans. The director snatches the paperwork in her prehensile claws and holds the schematics up to her face, clucking her pointed teeth dismissively. <coughs> These are like the scrawlings of children. Common sense precludes the routing of control hydraulics so near the secondary stage burners. Still, this is salvageable. Do you know how to, how to refractor fuel matrices for pressure variations at a fixed acceleration? No? Very well. Perhaps you could do something else for me while I reconfigure the rocket. Shortly after my intellect was augmented, I bred with Subject 4 in order to create a unique race of cognitively superior raptors. Subsequently, Subject 4 neither called nor wrote. I have determined to disembowel him upon our next encounter. Nonetheless, there are enough raptor children imprisoned in this lab to provide adequate genetic stock for repopulating my race. Please release them from their cages and carry them to the rocket. Now I'm going to release your super intelligent raptor children. I'm not sure how wise this is. However, if you all get in that damned rocket and leave, then I guess it's okay. Mm. Yes, I've got a super intelligent raptor biting my face. Fantastic. How many of these do I need? Five? That's great. This is rather uncomfortable. I thought they were supposed to be super intelligent. Why are they eating my face? This is unpleasant, cat meat. Very, very unpleasant. And there's your dad, guys. I don't like it, cat meat. I don't like it at all. This raptor better be paying me well. Yes, great. Get the hell out of here. Stop eating my face. Wonderful! Exemplary work, Peacewell. As you have no doubt surmised, my objective with regard to this rocket is to utilize it as a sort of astral cradle, an arc, if you will, allowing my newly forged race to slip the surly bonds of this ravaged planet and colonize a world to our own liking. You have been instrumental to our cause. Please accept this currency as I will be minting my own monetary units upon arrival. Farewell, Peacewell. Good. Go away. <laughs> yeah, light her up. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Actually gonna work, huh? Yeah. Good luck, I guess. Now I 
I guess all that's left is to get this uh, core of something, Asherite core, delivered, and uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. Sweat. Well, I mean, that's good, I guess. Well, I'm glad I make your face soaky. about the residual effects of all those burning chemicals in the lab. Hey, it grows back. Oof, the sample is secure, and it's still steaming. Thank you, D-Swell. Azurite is a complex mystery wrapped in a velvety enigma of danger. Grapplehammer insists that we learn more about this strange substance. Oops. Hey, how you doing? Azurite. This mysterious crystalline substance has been used to forge weapons of fell power, but in our hands, we've discovered that it's capable of focusing enormous amounts of energy. It may be the biggest goblin discovery since Kajamite. <coughs> but what is it? Where does it come from? Why is it located only here? Science demands an answer. I need more samples to study. Search out Asherite deposits all along the nearby cliffs. Well, you're here running around with the cliffs. Perhaps you can help me with another line of investigation. The giants who walk these cliffs have been here since these mountains formed. Maybe they know where the Azurite comes from. It's, our, it's in our best interest to befriend these giants and find out. Gather up a gigantic meal for me as a peace offering. Kill the Mistwing cliff, cliff dwellers that have been such a nuisance to our studies and collect their carcasses for me. Glad I could help. So... I need to collect rocks and kill beasts of some kind, cat meat. <laughs> Big shot, huh? I hope you have more ammo for me, but I've got nothing to shoot off over here but my mouth. Sweet! Beautiful! Brilliant! Who loves you? With my mortars resupplied, I can help you as you assault the Naga east of here. Use these markers to call in an artillery strike anywhere on the cliffs, and I'll splatter the whole area with fiery hurt. Oh, delicious, merciless, random destruction. I hope you're well armored. Security, enforcement, extortion, we do it all. But I don't need to assault the Naga East of here. At least, not yet. Let's see what Torg 2 Crush over here has for me. What do you need? tries my patience, defending against creatures who can disappear into the sea at will and emerge where they please. But I will not back down until their like has been wiped from Ishara. Spite Lash Naga have slithered up the cliff walls and are be besieging this post from the east. Destroy them, Beefswell. Gut them head to tail so that they may know the full fury of my horde. The Naga invaders have set up a series of shrines along the cliffs. I don't know their purpose, Beefswell, but I believe that they're strengthening our foes. I need someone to get in there and root out this threat. One nearby shrine is lightly defended. Cross the first bridge east of here, and then head towards the bay. You'll find it on a small outcropping. Investigate that shrine and come back with some info I can use. 
for the horde. Start with killing, we'll look for rocks while we're doing it. Deal with the Naga afterwards. These are the things we have to kill, apparently. Chimera. It appears to be a person. Crystallized note. To whom it may concern, if you are reading this note, then you are in one of two places, the southern peninsula of Ashara, inside the belly of a cliff giant, both equally undesirable. It should be noted that I was the former at I was the former at one time, and of as of writing this letter, the latter. Being inside the belly of a giant gives one time for reflection. As my body slowly crystallizes, I recall my days in Eversong contemplating a life of adventure on the savage frontiers across the great sea. I was young and stupid. If somehow I get out of here, I'm taking up gardening or, gardening or whittling instead. It's not necessarily that you were young and stupid, my friend. It's just that you weren't very good at adventure. I, on the other hand, am. Give me your carcass. Your mutilated carcass. Fantastic. It will be funny if one of them doesn't have a carcass. <coughs> well, at least this uh, Azure cluster is not a person. Sort of a relief. These formations, however, do not appear to be particularly common. one is a person. A troll, by the looks of things. No note for him, though. Apparently he uh, didn't feel like self-reflecting and thinking and writing while he was in the belly of a giant. The weird part is these giants don't even seem to be um, hostile, so... I don't know. These idiots must have attacked them and then gotten themselves killed. No. You know what they say, cat meat. There's only one cure for stupid, and it's death. There's another formation. Oh, a couple of them. Good, good. That should uh, get me all the ones I need. Just need a few more of these cliff dwellers, and uh, we'll be good to go with this part. saw another fella over here, so we'll just go get him. Still need one more after that, but we'll look around. There's one. Still waiting for the one of you that doesn't have a carcass. Some kind of strange mutant freak. Alright, there we go. Look at me on my hippo. A little palanquin. Got my own shade. It's fantastic. What's up? Have you got more samples? 
Careless adventurers have been looting this stuff for years. They don't know how precious it is. Ah, excellent. Some of these samples look fresh. I'm gonna be up to my neck in this stuff trying to solve this mystery. I probably should have warned you that mistwing chimeras can shoot lightning. Woof, the stench! Well, hopefully that massive heap of carcasses smells more appetizing to a giant. A cursory study of the Asherite you brought me reveals that it's not biological in nature, nor is it naturally formed. There's another creature in the shower with similar properties. The cliff giants that lumber around these cliffs. One of the giants seems willing to help our research along. Take the meat you collected to Gormangan, the giant standing just west of here. Befriend him, then grill him. Find out if he knows the secret of Azurite. Be careful out there. Yes, I did see this fellow earlier. Hello, friend. Gormangan's voice booms deep from within, hurting your ears and reverberating in the very ground beneath your feet. Hello, softling. Your kind dashes about, always running, never stopping. Rest with me a while. Ha, harum. Food? We don't eat squishlings, friend. Not unless they aggravate us. We eat rocks and stones and earth. Though I sometimes find that the crunch of bones makes a delightful seasoning. Gormangun lifts up a boulder, and with one enormous hand, smashes the corpses you've given him into a boulder, as one would put icing on a cupcake. He crunches the treat, rumbling happily. Azurite? You soft ones come up with new names for everything. What is this Azurite? Gormangun's laugh, deep and long, rumbles the ground and causes distant rock slides. Ho ha! Haroo! Ha haroom! Little friend, I am sorry. I suppose my kind does not pick up after ourselves as you do. It comes from Hurum! What is your name for it? Um, let's say that my kind does not have bathrooms. Do you understand? <clears throat> so, uh, I've, I've been picking up stone giant poop, is what you're telling me. It would seem so. You and your friends are welcome to as much as you can find. I suppose it's very potent. We don't need to go that often. I probably will regret asking, but how often do you go? We don't live our lives as quickly as you do, my mushy friend. A healthy giant eats three square meals a decade, although I am known to indulge in a snack every couple of years. We'll go to the bathroom every fifteen to twenty-five years, barring any tummy trouble. Hurum! I have never had my personal habits scrutinized so. Your kind never ceases to surprise me. Farewell, friend, and good luck with whatever it is you are on about. <sighs> well, you learn something new every day. Isn't that right, cat meat? You are not going to like this. What's the word on the street? Speak slower. What are you saying? Am I hearing you right? Those formations of Azurite are actually where the giants have... Oh my. Grody. Let's not tell Dr. Grapplehammer. He's made this stuff his life's work. Well, at least now we know where Azurite comes from and why it's so rare. We've got to figure out a way to speed up, uh, production. Well, I can think of one way to... One surefire way to send a giant run into the bathroom, but you're not going to like it. All we need is a massive laxative. Oh, hey. Would you believe the gnomes have something of the sort? This can't be a coincidence. I wonder what they're trying to push through over there. Our intelligence reports that the laxatives were delivered to Gadget Springs Tower, down the shoreline south of the secret lab. Retrieve that laxative and feed it to Gormangan. See you around, friend. 
right. Where is this tower? shoreline south of the lab. Probably that right there. Alright. Well, <clears throat> let's go steal a uh, giant x -lax. silly when we get near goblin places. Leave me alone, Hippogriff, I'm busy. little gnomes. Sorry, my little pink-skinned friend, but progress for the Horde requires alliance sacrifices. Call this place your house. Damn it. I need that elevator. The music's very upbeat here. Well, I'm curious to read this purchase order. Attention, Mrs. Gadget Spray. The industrial strength laxative agent you requested is enclosed. My condolences on the fate of Mr. Bilmo Gadget Spring after his encounter with the Cliff Giant. I am curious as to why you're opting for a laxative in an effort to recover him as opposed to some sort of vomit inducing agent. It seems to me you're doing Mr. Gadget Spring a disservice. Good luck with your endeavor. Indeed. Well, time to get up here. <laughs> so close to the Horde capital anyways. Very close to the gates of Orgrimmar. wonder if a <clears throat> laxative made for normal flesh and blood creatures is going to work on a stone giant. But I suppose there's only one way to find out. Hello again, soft little friend. What's that you have there? Gormangan eyes the laxative with suspicion, then sniffs it. With visible irritation, he begins smushing and molding the laxative into the shape of a goblin. I suspect your little green friends are putting you up to no good. 
Please explain to them that we giants are not to be toyed with. To demonstrate his point, Gormangun twists the head off of his chocolatey goblin statue before handing it back to you. Well, fair enough. <clears throat> Man, I'm sure I could take you, but uh, I don't really care enough about these goblins to do so. Yeah? What do you want? Once you have the laxative, try to feed it to Gormangun, and maybe give him a magazine or something. Do it for science. So, it was a no-go. Literally. Well, Grapplehammer won't take no for an answer. We'll have to try something else. Maybe I'll have my intern smuggle this laxative into the night elf encampment. That'll be good for a laugh, at least. Okay, new plan. We'll scare it out of them. In my experience, most lodge creatures are terrified of tiny ones. Like rats. <laughs> this place is crawling with rats. But how do we coax them over to the giant? Hey, you don't mind having your cellular matrix broken down and reassembled to you, do you? It's only painful while it's happening. I can shrink you down to rat size. You can ride one of those brutes over there like a horse. It's so crazy, it's gotta work. Speak to me when you're ready for the shrinkage. Have a good one. I am not sure that I like the sound of this, but... Well, as you say, out. for science. Yes, I am very tiny. Come, my little rat steed. Hi ho. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, Beefswell, it was just you. Please don't scare me like that. <clears throat> no poof. That didn't work. Yo. So scaring him didn't work either. Double nerds. I'll have to break the news to Grapple Hammer. Azurite's going to remain the rarest substance on the planet. We'll have to use it sparingly. Keep it real. What? Scoundrels. Infidels. Ever since I started my operation here in Ashara, the Gadget Spring family has hampered my studies and sabotaged my research. And now a mob of middle and second-rate tinkerers have rallied to their aid. I have pressing business to attend to. See to it that those gnomes are finished for good. Head to the ruined reaches on the coast south of my secret lab and start rolling some of their disproportionately enormous heads for me. Why didn't you give me this mission before? I was just down there. Beefswell, I've taken the purified sample of Asherite you rescued from the lab and I've weaponized it. If my calculations are correct, it will detonate with enough force to level a city. If I'm wrong, it may cleave the planet in two. The only way to find out is a test fire. Deliver the Asherite core to the giant cannon in Bilgewater and report to Bleenik Fizzlefuse. My pilot for hire for his groundsman here can give you a ride. I'll follow. From a safe distance. Go! Go! Well, I suppose we have to head back to these damned gnomes first. And then we will probably come deal with the Naga, and then we'll do this last. to get to the gnome place? I sure hope so, Catmeat. Gnomes and Naga coexisting over here? They are living awful close to one another. Throwing nets on me, you little bastards. 
Scream like a no. That should be a new saying. It was your house. I'm sure the goblins will move in soon enough. Oh, go! Oh, marvelous. Tell me more. And that precious young gadget spring? Dead as well? Ah, wonderful. My work here is important, but at times I do miss the carnage of demolishing my enemies on a more personal level. Here, perhaps you can make use of some of my discarded equipment. No. No, actually I cannot. Hit the road! Alright, oh, time to kill some Naga, I suppose. What was that thing? Yes, there we go. I'm sure it would be fun to kill some Naga with artillery. My clams unbarnacled. Well, that looks ominous. The 
stone in the center of this shrine emits a faint glow and roars with the power of the angry sea. The air around the strange stone crackles with energy. The stone itself is smooth and icy cold. It pulses periodically as you run your hands over it, like the crashing of the surf. A wedge-shaped piece appears to be missing from the top surface of the artifact. This keystone shard is likely the key to unlocking the secrets of the stone. Search the grounds near the temple and locate the keystone shard. <coughs> if I must. This would appear to be it right here. power stone pulses with an expectant hum. The keystone shard slides into place, and previously invisible runes suddenly erupt on the surface of the stone, shimmering in blue and violet hues. Your knees buckle as powerful arcane currents suddenly race into your body. A magical barrier pulses around you, chilling your bones. You feel secure behind this enchanted wall. Torg Tukrush will want to know what you've discovered here. Light of the sea surrounds you, increasing all of your resistances by ten. And I have a goofy bubble around me. Naga, please. One last one. Out of my face, little thing. Whatever you are. Torg scans the horizon, and still they come. They are like a plague, beef swell. But with strength like yours, we will crush them someday. An energy barrier, you say? <clears throat> this explains a great deal. I've seen firsthand how Naga leaders have been able to turn aside the blades of some of my best warriors. Now we know the source of their power, Beef Swell. Let's finish this. Two Naga witches have been masterminding the assault on this outpost. They've repelled direct attacks from some of our best grunts, but you can finish the job where others have failed. Seek out and slay Lady Silastrasa and Lady Vesera at the eastern edge of the cliffs, around the ruins of the ancient Night Elven Colossus. You will first need to destroy the power stones that give them their strength. Do not disappoint me, shaman. Dabu. Dabu indeed. 
All right, back we go. Now, what was this about a night elf and colossus? I must have missed the colossus. two leg things are back there. Okay. So it's just the legs of the Colossus. Maybe there's like the arms sticking up over there. I don't know. Whatever. Nice one of them. To destroy her power stone. Right, lady, your power has dispelled, and so has your life. This is a great victory for the Horde. At least I think it is. Torb two crush fellows seem to think so, and it's always good to see statues of night elves destroyed as well. So good job, Naga. destroyed an ugly night off monument, and then we have uh, killed your leaders, so you're no longer a threat to us. All in all, good day. how we used to handle serpents back in Dorotar. You've crushed them under our boots. You've done the Horde proud, Beefswell. As soon as my reinforcements arrive, we'll mop up the rest of those vermin and claim this peninsula once and for all. Go with honor. Loktar, my friend. Loktar. Now then, I need to get a ride. Yeah, yeah. Go get him, champ. Apparently a goblin city out here. There's one big cannon. Theoretically, was it actually pointed at? I mean, it's kind of pointed at horde territory on the other side of the world, forsaken territory. Look like he can really rotate or anything. So yeah, I don't really know what good this is. Oh, whatever. I just do what I'm told. I get paid. I get honor and glory for the horde. You there. 
Yo. What's that you got there? To grapple him and send you? Oh, this is it. It's the big one. Fizzlefuse calls out to his workers. We're in business, boys. Be careful out there. Okay, well, are you going to do anything? Commander Molotov. To Uncle Bedlam. They say they're in business, but they don't seem to be doing anything. So, um, uh -huh. I guess I'll come talk to this person. Well, spit it out. Hey, I'm glad I caught you. I've come on behalf of my master, Kallik. He requires your aid. Find him under the bridge in the slums as soon as you can. Catch you on the flip side. Drunk and shit. He doesn't appear to have any pants on. It's an interesting little town, isn't it? job I'm supposed to get. I'm confused. It's down. Okay, where? Oh, water poster. <clears throat> Operation Fishcut. The Bilgewater Battalion are now accepting recruits for Operation Fishcut. Wages will consist of one gold piece at the time of Operation Completion for all active soldiers in good standing. All wages will be forfeited in the event of death. A fee of 20 silver will be charged for any resurrections performed in the line of duty. All recruits are report to duty to, for duty directly to Commander Molotov under the main cannon. Hmm. All right. There is no time to waste. Thank you for coming. I apologize for the discretion, but it's extremely important that I not be seen by certain individuals. I'm in quite a bind, and I've taken notice of some of your recent deeds. Hear me out, help me, and I'll see to it that you're rewarded in kind. My brothers and I are being hunted. Our sire was recently killed, and the Black Dragonflight seeks to root those of us... root out those of us that still live. I'm here to find Azergos and take him to safety. If only he would let it be that easy. Azergos doesn't make many friends, and his taste in them tends to be a bit... unique. The only one I know of here is a murloc named... Irgil. You should be able to find him on the coast northeast of here. Do whatever it takes to find Azergos and send him to me. Please hurry. Kill Jaden must be destroyed. So it will. Thought I saw somebody else handing out a job here. There's a flight path. That's always useful. Down here at the end. Harbor. Since Orgrimmar doesn't really have a natural harbor. It's, you know, relatively close to the gates of Orgrimmar. Right over there. Short flight. Very good. Well, I guess we, uh, 
You have to get a job from um, Commander Molotov. It's my way or the highway. Welcome pal. back to duty, soldier. Good to have you back. You will be reporting for active duty immediately. Captain DeSoto is overseeing deployment just down the ramp at the rocket launch station. Make us rich, soldier. Dismissed. Get lost, will ya? <clears throat> we'll talk to him first, and then we might see about going to find his murloc. Curious as to where he's going to be sending me. Well, spit it out. Nice to meet you, soldier. Commander Molotov speaks highly of you. Enough small talk. Get your butt onto a rocket, soldier. And remember, you don't get paid if you're dead. This gig ain't so bad. Going over there. Yes, we should uh, go find the Murloc first. They're just leaking oil all over the ground. That's not good for nature. I need to hurry up and win this war. Then we won't need these goblins anymore. Are these mines in the sea? It is an impressive looking little harbor. Well, it's always fun to find a talking murloc. I assume he's going to be able to talk. I suppose it's possible that he can't, and then that will be very strange, won't it? Hello there! A new friend! So glad to meet you! My name is Urgel. The G is silent. So wait, it's... Earl? Earl. Hmm. Okay. Oh dear. Azure Ghost? Azure Ghost. Azzy? The Dragon? We're friends, definitely. Taught me to speak. Said he liked my hue. Kinda colorist, eh? Don't remember where he went. Hmm, maybe something to help my memory. I plant copy seeds all over the beach. They like sand. Kinda weird. Could you go collect some? I'd share if they asked. They just go clickety clacking up on my coffee plants. I see. Okay. So rude. You should teach them a lesson. Dumb macaroni. One other thing I need. Hot water. Not so easy around here. Not hot springs. No. No friends to share. One good way, though. Have this sponge. It's ultra-absorbent. Use it to go soak vile splashes at the sandbar eastish. With enough, go squeeze them out over the near over near the tower to summon Jumbo Elemental. He has hot water. Well, that sounds um, fun. The 
things we have to do, Cat 8. Splashes. Oh, apparently I don't, I don't kill them. I just walk into them and let them do their thing. Uh, yeah, give me your. I'm sucking you up with my sponge. Always deal with water elementals this way. Shari sea sponge undulates with living water. Oh, that is gross. You've collected all the simmering water droplets that Earl requested. Now it's just a matter of summoning the jumbo elemental. Earl indicated that you should be able to use the engorged Ashara sea sponge to summon a jumbo elemental near the Tower of Eldara to the northeast. Please don't say engorged. Nothing. Well, away we go. Summoned by a fumbling tauren. Unbelievable. Desperate or stupid, this will be your final mistake. Whatever you say, buddy. Alright. Still need lots more coffee and uh, a few more of these macarinis. to the Goblin Town. There appears to be plenty of these guys. The coffee is what's holding us back.
seem to be enough of it. The area that it's in is relatively small. I need ten of them. It's not like it's just spurting up all over the place, neither. I still need five more, and I've been almost all over this area now. hermit crabs or something. Alright. There we are, Kevmeat. Let us return to Earl the Talking Murloc and uh, hopefully get whatever information about the blue dragon that we need out of him. Hard. It's hard to concentrate. Beautiful beans. They smell absolutely delicious, don't they? Too mean? No, not too mean. They deserved it. I don't give up their plants. Not ever. You're back. Convenience, no. Who needs hot springs anyways? This is perfect. Earl's body sleeve. That sounds icky. Delicious! As he always trying to get his hands on magic artifacts, Jenny was trying to make friends with that archmage person, Xylem. Xylem has lots of apprentices. Takes in all kinds, burns them out, leaves them wandering all over. High turnover. Last one was last night. Headed over towards the big goblin tower construction thing, way west. Maybe he'll help you meet Xylem. Maybe Xylem knows where Ezzy is. Play nice. Uh, gurgle the tracking turtle? What goes on? Is he gonna take me all the way to some fucking goblin tower? Maybe he is. Well, I mean, I guess thanks for the tracking turtle ride. Or something. Turtle's just named Girl, if it's G silent, too. Maybe this is Earl and Girl. This is his girlfriend. Creepy. Also, this doesn't have a saddle or nothing. I'm just kind of sitting on its spiny ass, or spiny shell up my butthole. This isn't very pleasant, really. sure how I'm maintaining balance on this thing. Well, 
This is some magic turtle ride. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I suppose theoretically this isn't a terribly indirect route. It'd be better to get up onto the upper ridge earlier, but such is life. To need some ass salve this evening. I am chafing like a bear. have you? Look, buddy, I was in your shoes not a week ago. Big, powerful archmage actually takes on apprentices. Who could pass up an opportunity like that? Sometimes things really are just too good to be true. Every man's got to learn his own lessons, I suppose. Here, take my wizard hat. I have no doubt that it'll take you on as an apprentice if you just look the role. You just have, you just might have to jump through some hoops first. Tiny flaming hoops suspended over spikes with spinning blades on the other side. You should be able to find an archmage, an image of Xylem, on top of that hill to the northeast. Shorel Aran. Who are you people? Glory to the Sindorai. If my sources are trustworthy, Lord Keeper Amberwind is overseeing the Alliance investigation of the ruins to the east. I have not yet pro probed the extent of her abilities. I'm hoping you can give me a full report by engaging her in combat and destroying her. With a title like Law Keeper, I'm guessing Amberwind will have a journal on her that tells us exactly what those night elves are up to. Fetch that journal for me. No need to run back. Use their own scrying stones to contact me remotely. Time is of the essence. Strength and honor. The Blackmaw Furrowbog that live in this area have broken rank with their Timbamar or brethren as we began to aggressively settle as Shara. They've gone wild, Shaman, and harass our forces at every turn. Worse, we have seen them engaging the Night Elves from Telerendus on friendly terms. We cannot ally the two to we cannot allow the two to ally. Just southwest of here, you will find a great scar across the earth where my scouts report night elven activity. Slay them and gather any intelligence you find. Victory hmm. <laughs> Well, yes, I will come back and do this eventually. But uh, I'm going to head back to the big goblin town in the middle for for now. Need to do that. I'm going to take the rocket to the uh, whatever this is over here, the northern rocket way, and take that flight to uh, the town in the middle. What's up? Rockdoid Terminus, <laughs> please. Let's go! Once again, I have no idea how I'm staying on the track. This one appears to go over the water. Dangerous. Oh dear. Well, somehow we didn't die. So that 
that's always good. I wanted to stay up there. That's where the flight path is. Throw me out into the wild, son. Oh, who's singing? As Shara Choir just piped in. Apparently they're, uh, they must be friends of the Northern Barons Violin Brigade. Wow, this music is so dramatic. Quickly, quickly! Careful! And you ride to Ilgewater Harbor on your whirly bird. The shower is uh, turning out to be a much more involved location than I thought it would be. I was expecting a somewhat shorter experience here, but. Still appear to have a fair amount left to do. Probably going to call it a day once we get here into the uh, into the harbor town. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish up Ashara in our next outing. But no promises, of course. I don't know exactly what the future brings. Now we're going to make our way to the inn and have us a little rest. Here's the damned inn. Ah, I believe that's it. Party with the AWOL grunts. Try to sit in one of these tiny goblin chairs. Indeed. Hmm. Cartons of, um, I don't know, probably some Pandarian food. And, uh, soda cans. Alright, well, excellent. Well, this has been Beastwell, and uh, I will see you all next time. Good night.